And uh, at some point here in this stream, I plan to make dinner. What do I plan on making for dinner? I plan on making sausage sandwiches for dinner. When it comes time to make dinner. I'm not hungry, super hungry at the moment. We're watching the NC State Purdue game, which I guess has ended now. With a total score of I think 63 to 50. With about 40 minutes left until the Alabama UConn game, the second of the two final four games. Uh, Rachel and I accomplished something to note today. We went to the store. We got a bunch of stuff. We got more gas. We got cigarillos. And coffees. Coffees, yeah. And generally accomplished some task doing that we needed to do. Uh... We're watching Anchorman. Oh, I'm out of the library. We can finish it later. And now we're going to the live stream here. We're going to bring that up. And I see that YouTube automatically is trying to tell me to become a member of my own channel. No, thank you. I consider myself a member even if I'm not formally a member of my own channel. It's because I'm logged in as a different account. So I, I'm pleased to see that YouTube automatically turns around the camera so that uh, even though it looks like it's upside mirrored here and when I look at it on the phone, when I look at it on the TV, it's correct direction. Hi, Jesus Lover. Hey, Jesus going? Lover. Hi, Dawson Drader. Tell me one of your finest memories of life. Well, one of my good memories uh, is, you know, my trip to Hawaii with my dad and my daughter and Rachel and me. Um, it's a happy memory in the last number, certain number of years, you know. And uh, certainly our wedding is a happy memory. Comment Vatu. I will. Bonjour. Bonjour. Hashtag slay, says silly individual. I'm not really into slaying that much. Can yeah. I slay? Uh, well, that would mean you'd have to go sleep around with a lot of guys, I guess. No. That's what it means to slay. No, I thought it's like slay. Like your outfit is slaying. Oh, well, maybe your outfit could slay, but. I think we're tending to mean, you know, getting like out of bed. Slaying the puss? Yeah, exactly. That's how I tend to. Oh, show me you put it a good way. I, fool, I fooled around and fell in love. That's what slay means. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what it means. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I don't speak French, Sam. I won't be able to talk with you in French. Sorry. It'd be better served if, if uh, I spoke a little Spanish, you know. I think in love with you. Well, Bertie, unfortunately for you, I am married. And already in love with a wonderful lady. Hi, AJ. Hi, do England. You, do you think the thing is charged by now, or is it too soon? Mm. Give it another like 10 minutes. Yeah, it's a good another 10 minutes. Okay. It, it's probably partially charged, you know. I think like... I only really partially charged it last time, so. <coughs> yeah, there's my beloved wife, Rachel. Hey, K.E. Hi, K.E. How's it going? Do I show feet? <laughs> Sometimes by accident, maybe. <laughs> yeah, by accident, you would show feet. Me too. Depends on, like, what shoes I'm wearing. I don't make a point of hiding my feet, you know. It's true. 
This night is too long and sleep has evaded me and I have a plane taking a few hours. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Kay. Where are you going, Kay, if you don't mind my asking? It's fine, show me to you. I, I mean, think that you can see Rachel's cool. feet if you want, but they're yeah. in her shoes. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to be very exciting for you. She's got on snappy kicks, you know? Sambas. Back in the day, if you were a kid, these were the soccer kids' sneakers. So when they weren't in their cleats, they'd be wearing sambas. Mm-hmm. Sambas, they're called. That is our cat. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Mm -hmm. I'm getting myself a beverage from the old fridge roo here. I'm going to get myself one of these Klaus Toller non alcoholics. You want one too? Yeah. Thank you. Mm hmm. Let's throw the beer all open them over here. Um, <clears throat> well, thanks, Extravagant. Is she playing five aside? I don't know what that means. Do I like Pink Floyd? Not particularly, no. I think they're a little ponderous. Well, self-indulgent. Definitely self-indulgent. Ponderous is a good word for them. Extravagance says, you're a great YouTuber and what you're doing is amazing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, thanks, Extravagance. I'm not particularly worried about anyone telling me otherwise. Oh, soccer in England. No, I don't think she does play soccer. She's just wearing those shoes. Yeah, no. I couldn't wear those shoes because, like, people would be like, she's not a soccer player. Why isn't she wearing those shoes? Because it was, like, in, like, I don't know, 97 or whatever. And, like, I don't want to be a poser. <laughs> mm. Well, I wear tatami slippers, but I'm not Japanese. Yeah. Does that make me a poser? No. I don't think so. It no, makes me wise I, in my taste of flip flops. I do feel like I'm like happy I get to wear them because I always like them. Mm. So it's like I'm glad that I own them. They're good shoes. They look good on you. Thank you. Uh well they do have some good melodies and they're not they're not comp compositionally bereft or anything. <coughs> They just require a little more patience than I'm willing to provide as a as a listener. Opposing is not a sin. It's just a possible line of attack people can make, you know. So I can understand that somebody in general would proactively prevent that line of attack. I don't know if that's true, K.E. I'm not sure everyone poses on their way to authenticity. That whole fake it till you make it thing seems a very F.E. thing to me, you know? Turquoise is beautiful and looks beautiful on you. When you, I saw that picture of you with the turquoise like eyeshadow, like brights really do look good on you. I wear turquoise. She does. <laughs> she likes turquoise. 
um, quarter right here has on a turquoise shirt. <coughs> yes, he does. <coughs> Ain't nothing wrong with wearing a little turquoise. That's what I always say. Thanks, Thanks Corduroy. Corduroy. What's for dinner? Well, what I'm thinking about making actually tonight, something I don't normally make, but I'm thinking of making actually pasta for dinner tonight. Pasta with sausage and butter and tomato paste uh, for, you know, maybe put a little olive oil in there too, just to make a little more saucy, you know, splash a little water in there or put a little bit of non-alcoholic beer or something to uh, get the sauce just as I'm envisioning it. Ooh, Eric's sauce. Yeah. So I'm thinking about doing pasta, yeah. Wow. Eric, pasta's right, big mofo. It is yummy, John. Wow, K.E. Have you guys seen my present? <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I have a present. You cannot have my present. <laughs> oh, see. I have a present. Lincea says, what's up, old crackhead? Well, if you're addressing me, I'm actually not an old crackhead. So, I'm not a crackhead of any age in particular. What is up with you, though, young... Junkie, <laughs> what's up with you, young junkie? We're not doing seafood. No seafood. We've got some Italian sausages. So, uh, I'm going to cook up, I guess, probably... I don't know whether to do one sausage or two sausages. What do you think? One sausage for this sauce is enough. How much sauce are you thinking of making? I'm gonna make as much pasta and sauce as we need for the two of us, and just. And then one should be enough. I think so too. Yeah, I'll do one. I got. I'm gonna make my own sauce with tomato paste, maybe a can of stewed tomatoes. That I smush up a bit. Oh, well, for us to go get any fast food, Mace, uh, we'd have to drive for 30 minutes to get to town. We only would have the choice of Subway once we got there, mm -hmm. as far as fast food goes. Or we'd have to drive 45 minutes to get to Oakhurst to get, like, then we could get. Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Taco Bell. But we're pretty far away Bell. from we're pretty far away from easily convenient fast food. We are. Mm. Hey E, invite your INFJ friend over. I'm sure she'll wanna get out of the house for a bit and enjoy some food. She mm. probably hasn't eaten for a while. Well, Jonathan Earl. I think uh, it's possible that I just don't look as tired because I've gotten a lot of sleep. Recently. You don't have Uber Eats here. We can't. Yeah, we have no Uber Eats, no DoorDash. We can get Instacart purportedly, but uh, oh yeah, I think that tends to make things more expensive. Yeah, it does. So I'd rather just drive into town and go food shopping. Um, I did get a lot, a lot of sleep last night. I, I'm not all slept up, but I'm feeling a lot more, uh, you know, slept up than I was a few days ago. We got a couple of, we got a couple of, uh, we got a couple more good night sleeps. And then I think I'll feel fairly well like myself. So they're still getting ready for the Alabama Yukon game, which we'll have going here. And yeah, I know. A thirty dollar pickup order might be like sixty five bucks on Uber Eats. It saves us a lot of money to not to not do that. Show media. I'm also an INFJ. You forget. 
in show media, I don't think you are necessarily an INFJ. JC says, what's wrong with you, old man? You seem moody lately. Um, no, I just busted your chops last time for your uh, for your unwanted and uncivilized evangelism. Now you seem a little bitter about it. Well, shows you how Christian you really are. Huh? Uh... The one I had was actually quite two-faced. She had some drama with my male friends and a lot of dubious relationships. No, I don't want to retype you. Oh, well, that's kind of shitty of you. You know, I don't... I don't misrepresent who I am or what I actually believe to you. Why would you do that to me? I'm going to time you out for that. What did he say? Oh, he just said he was fucking with me last time. Well, oh, really? I mean, he's lucky I don't hide him, you know? Yeah. I don't treat people like that. I don't know why they would treat me like that. Oh. Yeah. I guess he's a hater of some kind. I don't know. We'll see. If he tries to pull any additional shit, I'll just hide him. I'm not in the mood for somebody who doesn't know how to deal with other people with a basic level of respect of being honest, you know? If you're going to be expressly dishonest, then, I mean, there's certainly no reason to have you around. Yeah, for right? real. So, I think JC may have made a big mistake here. Probably I'll just ban his ass. Mm-hmm. The mouth. I don't know why that makes you laugh your ass off, but yeah, yeah, she's my wife. I'm 52, she's 39, for the record. Uh, I don't think he missed out on any drama, Katie. JC, I guess, was just fucking with me when he pretended to be, like, your fake Christian yesterday or whatever, so. Um, yeah, I know. Score me, huh? Thanks, Mace. I'm going to get a, uh, I don't want to talk about your type at all. Show me you I'm not interested in talking about it. smoking jacket. This is a jacket that has my cigarettes in it. And we go outside. Let me bring my glasses so I can see the chat. Okay, well, if you want to talk with us, that's fine. What's wrong with the ladies? What's the matter with men? From the feelings of Katie. What are these? These look like new prints here that we got. Let's take a look at them. Oh, yeah, those are the tracks? Yeah. Looks like these ones are from this afternoon. We got some turkeys coming through. Pretty big turkey. Definitely, turkey? yeah, these are definitely turkey tracks. Oh, watch out, it's kind of slippy. I just, I'm just coming right back down anyway, but look. You got two turkeys probably starting together, I guess, and then walking and splitting into two, two directions. But maybe they started apart and came back together, I don't know. One of them walked across here. Yeah. Made a turn here. Getting some seeds, maybe? Yeah, they came to get some sunflower seeds. They're like, we love the cutlets so much. Yeah, they do. Oh, cuidado. Thank you. Brr. Well, now that I've gotten snow all over my bare feet, they're cold. Oh, uh -huh. Probably just to no one's shock or dismay. Would you like me to get you a pair of socks? Um, yeah, that would be nice. I'll put them on when I go back inside. Thank you. I'll put the 
All right, cool. I'm six five. Yeah, well, I want to, you can't really see it. Oh, you can barely see it a little bit. Personally, I made a snoggy at yesterday. Yeah, you did. Oh my gosh, it's just a little bit you left. You can still of it. see a teeny bit of our snoggy at. We made. Our Well. You can barely see. We're not going to sports meetings. We went to the store today. Yeah, the gat has melted mostly. There's not a lot of gat left. Oh, it was Putty Cat's idea. Good job, Putty Cat. I have a size 13. Shoe, yeah. About that. Let me know when it's time to buy a new pair. You know, you probably should. Okay, I'll buy you two. I'm glad our snow yeah, lasted as long as it Me did. Me too. I sent in a picture of the snow happening to my mom, and uh, the snow yeah was in there. She didn't notice it, but it was there. I was like, oh, the yeah. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous around Mariposa right now. I mean, like, couldn't get any more gorgeous. The mountains are all covered with snow. There are green really rolling hills near town. Um, wildflowers blooming all over the place. It's crazy. It's gorgeous. And, of course, our little stream is really pumping in with these, with this additional snow. Obviously, it's going to feed the stream for longer. It's the up higher snow. It takes longer to melt, you know. And the snow stretched, the snow was continual for quite some distance down from our house. So it's now fairly low elevation. Yeah. I mean, you know, like we were sort of snowed in for a couple of days. You could, we could have gotten out if we really needed to. I could have put chains on the car, but we would have either had to do that or shovel the driveway, heaven forbid. I'm not a big shoveler by nature, but we got the snow off the car really efficiently today. I got out the big pusher and the yellow broom. We got all the snow off the car pretty easy before we went into town. Yep. <sighs> Bye, Mace. Bye, Mace. Thanks for stopping in. Eric, do you have any biology major friends to talk about things or debate? Uh, no. I mean, I've talked to, say, I, I've, like, asked evolution, an evolutionary scientist about evolution before, and, uh, been <laughs> thoroughly unimpressed by his inability to answer any of my questions. Like, I'm not interested in debating things, right? There's formal debate, and then there's haphazard internet tomfoolery, right? 
I'm not interested in doing that. And, you know, I, I don't, I don't take, the positions that I take on things that are clear-cut positions, they really aren't debatable. I just present all the best arguments that are ex in existence about it. Hey, Luminix. Well, I thought you were honest. I didn't know you were a big liar pants. That's why. You know. Yeah, that's pretty disappointing. Yeah, we're, it's obviously, you, I can't rely on you to deal with me like a human being with any kind of respect or honesty, so you can't expect me to deal with you like one, you know? Right? When you sacrifice your credibility like that, you really sacrifice everything. What planet would you wish upon, K.E.? Some people don't quite get that their credibility is critical to the all of their relationships, but I want to hear professionals on how many sexes there are. I mean, it's a silly question, right? The answer is simple enough. There are two biological sexes, and we can know and assert that because we can establish a single binary test to evaluate that, either Y chromosome or X chromosome. It's also the case that people's understandings of gender are very complicated, I and mean, people may choose to arbitrarily identify as whatever gender they feel like. So it's parsed easily enough, but <coughs> I don't know. It's not something that should bot keep anyone's attention or anyone should be concerned oh, about. Socks. It's not, yeah, it's off. Oh. It's not, uh, it's not an interesting enough question for anyone to really concern themselves about. Unless, no, I mean, JC, like when you sacrifice your credibility, then that's pretty serious. It's not me taking it seriously or not. It's, I no longer find you credible in what you say. So that's a problem for you, right? And that's a, that's a problem you created. But it's not a problem of me taking anything too serious or not serious enough. It's just, okay, well, now I'll no longer believe this guy. So, you know, it is what it is. I need higher ceilings. Well, I'm definitely not going to get the ceilings raised. No thanks, JC. So, hopefully, the, uh, basketball game has started around now. Yeah. I believe the earth contributes to making people homosexual as a defense mechanism because it didn't slow us down. Now we're straight up frog frogs will change sex in a single sex environment. Oh. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's not true because you know, however one behaves sexually is not indicative of a reproductive option, right? No, you may not, Pooty Cat. <laughs> people. People in their strange ways. So it looks like this game is about to start. It was supposed to start, I think, five minutes ago, but whatever. They tend to start these things a little late. Yeah, well, you can make a binary distinction, and you can make it clearly because there's a bright line test, right? If you have a Y chromosome, male. If not, female, okay? So there is that bright line test, and that's good. We can, therefore, make a clear binary distinction. But the point is, why are you attempting to do so, right? What are you planning to do with this information? Just the baby in pink or blue. 
I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even hear. I oh. was just I was reading what Jonathan Earl said. Oh. Well, I mean, I agree the Earth is overpopulated by humans. Uh, I don't know how the Earth itself would implement this mechanism. It might be implicit to populations of animals that get to a certain size. I don't know. But the point is, again, why are you trying to explain it as something other than just a manifestation of being human, you know? It's like, are you trying to create some sort of understanding of populations accordingly? If so, you're doing a disservice to individuals. And, you know, I'm hesitant to mugity meow. Real quick, try this. They say if you hold an imaginary salt shaker in your hand and shake it into your mouth, you can actually taste salt. I'm not going to try that. Thank you very much. Uh, Trouble is asexual. Trouble is a eunuch. Yeah, he is a eunuch. Okay. I'm going to have to Google those words you said. I ran out of coffee. I don't know, putty cat. Why are we talking about these silly things? Do I like sushi? Sometimes. No, show me you cannot come over for a foot rub. When you're born into a body, it's not the wrong one. Just because you might feel awkward doesn't mean it's not really supposed to be your body. Well, the operative term there is supposed to, right? Supposed to in terms of what, <laughs> in terms of uh, what kind of normative metric. Well, Capillo may have had a, a kitty boy centerfold. That's possible. I'm not sure. She's she's a very beautiful kitty. There's no she's a kitty that. pageant winner. Yeah, we know that for sure. And she's never even entered any kitty pageants, but if but she still but she has wins won, all of them. She still wins all of them anyway. So yeah, it's pretty impressive. Do we have a mayor, or county commissioner? We have a county board of supervisors. There's probably a county commissioner as well. Well, they're still introducing players here for Alabama, so the game has not started yet. Uh, I think once the game starts, well, I'm not really hungry yet, are you? I can have a snack. Well, I'm if not you're really get, hungry, hungry. If you're getting hungry, then maybe we should make, I should make, start making dinner, you know? I think that's not a terrible idea to start okay. making dinner. Uh, oh, that's right. I was going to do sausage sandwiches. That's what I was originally going to oh, do. Oh, yeah. This is what you were originally going to do. Well, now I have a decision to make. Do you want to leave it up to the people? That's a good idea. Let's leave it up to the people. What should I make for dinner? Is that too many characters? Is it too many characters? All right, Italian sausage sandwiches or pasta with red sauce and sausage. Those are my two choices, okay? We cannot get any delivery. We do not ever eat sushi. I don't dislike it necessarily, but we never eat it. You have only two choices here. Okay. And I'll try to abide by the decision of the poll. Now, it looks like they still haven't started this game. They're still <laughs> introducing players or what? Yeah, they are. Ridiculous. 
Uh, uh, they're introducing, I guess, the coaches. Yes. It's Nate Oates, and the other coach is uh, Dan Hurley. That's Bobby Hurley's brother, I believe. Who's Bobby Hurley? Bobby Hurley was a professional basketball player who got into a really bad car crash and then later became a, a basketball coach. Oh. So, anyway, now it's commercial. This game was supposed to start at 5.39. It is 5.50 right wow. now. Come on, lying schedule people. We'll see what's going. What's winning right now is the pasta by a large margin. Yeah, Bobby Hurley did play for the the Kings. You're right. Well, I think there's four viewers maybe a little bit wrong because I can count four people right now. Uh, maybe that's the full extent of it, but. If Lou's still here, that's five, you know. Oh, wait, no. It's four still, maybe. If you count Rachel, that's five. So, you know, I, I'll just now say six people here. Regardless, I don't really worry about it because <clears throat> uh, I'll see. I'll see quite a large variation over the course of yeah amount of time no we have bread we have bread but that's that's a tricky vote of yours show me to you we're not just we don't just have bread we have uh french rolls which we could use for the sausage sandwiches do i like catfish i do not like catfish the game before went longer than expected well, then, you know, it wasn't a particularly long game. So, they need, to, they need to be smarter in their scheduling. Okay, the new game has finally started. UConn has the ball. Looks to be the first possession of the game. UConn attempts a three-pointer and misses it. All right, so the game is underway. How long has it last been since I've had meatloaf? Quite some time, I would suspect. Uh, it is something that I'll periodically get at a restaurant if they have meatloaf. You know, it's definitely something that I am not afraid to order. Can you drink the water out of the stream next to your house? Probably right now we could, I would suspect. I wouldn't want to try it, but probably. I wouldn't, if I had some sort of need to drink some water, I wouldn't feel particularly irresponsible to drink the water in the stream by the house because it's just snow melt, you know? It's hard to say what's upstream, obviously, but it's uh it should be about as fresh and clean as it's ever gonna be <clears throat> it's not like there are any people above it that are gonna like put pollution in the stream or something i'm not worried about that obviously there are animals that could poop in the stream or something but if you're ever going to drink out of a mountain stream, right now out of that stream would be as about as responsible a choice as you could make. So now Yukon's up five to three. And you know, looking determined to beat Alabama team that uh, what is this 
Yes, she did. Even girls go to the bathroom, Pretty Cat. I know it's hard to believe. Yeah, LOL indeed. It's hysterical. Mmm, that, it's, that's true, Luminix. I like it with ketchup. Do you like having your meatloaf with ketchup? Yeah, ketchup is key for... You know, they only pee right, they don't poo, of course. They're too dainty to poo. So, UConn's up by four. I'm playing a full court press here at the gate against Alabama. We'll see how that works out. Alabama, you know, successfully broke press, got their half court offense. They look a little discombobulated. We'll see if they can they get, they get the ball down underneath, but not a shot out of it. Kick it out for a three-pointer. Good open look. Rebound Alabama. Here's another shot by the same guy. Number three. This time he makes it. Griffin. And it's a one-point game. So good. I would love to see this game be a little bit more of a contest than the, than the last game, you know. A little burnt ketchup on meatloaf is even better. Rachel, do you like to watch The Price is Right? Uh, I used to watch The Price is Right. I haven't watched it in a really long time. Yeah. Can you paint pictures or draw, Rachel? Uh, yes, I can. I, I'm not a good painter, but I can draw. Alabama, short on the two point shot. What are you streaming game on? Uh, we're watching the Alabama UConn Final Four game, the second of two Final Four games. On UConn, YouTube TV. Yeah, on YouTube TV. UConn is up by four points. And uh, Echo Harley says, I'm a firefighter, so I can only stay for a bit. Sorry. Okay, well, that's understandable. You got to go fight fires all the time, I guess. Everything's always on fire. <laughs> I watch with um Drew Carey. Like it's just a matter of me being up and remembering it's on. Mucha says, "Dude, looks like you punched out twenty bullies in high school." No, I don't think so. I did not do anything of the sort. Eric, do you like to read Civil War books? No. My dad did though. And I dreamt about my parents last night. Did you? Yeah, quite a bit. I had this one dream where I and maybe you as well, I'm not sure. We're on vacation with my parents and my I disappointed my dad by being late to arriving to something he had, you know, set up or whatever. <laughs> Just like real life. Uh, Nick says, old man, go away. No, Nick, what you're looking for is get out of here, Baldy. Get out of here, Baldy. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. Try again. Let's see what this person here says. Have you ever especially liked that one would go outside within everything done in life, surrounded by almost nostalgia, right? Holding on to it afterward without any kind of like atmosphere about uh, I'm not quite sure what to make of that hi Brad Stover hi Adrian Garcia yo 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 uh, I don't know what to make of that Sophie really uh, I'm not particularly nostalgic but um, I think what you're saying is nostalgia for the moment as it's unfolding it's a concept I remember reading in the book um, Generation X by Douglas Copeland. And it was, an, it was a notion that appealed to me at the time when I read it. And Avishek Krishna says, I remind them of a movie character. Cool. How am I feeling today? Asked Rebecca Towns. I'm feeling well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Brad Stover, I don't think you're ever going to get it. Okay. I think maybe I, I made promises I couldn't keep on that cup of noodles.
you know, the thing is, what I promised you is a cup of noodles back when they had styrofoam cups for a cup of noodles. Now they have paper cups for the cup of noodles. Oh, you got a new house today, huh? Cool. How exciting. Have you ever had a situation where you felt like deja vu? Yeah, I've felt deja vu before. Rachel, did you like the movie The Goonies? Yes, I do like the movie The Goonies. You're really pushing my buttons, Eric. How could you lie to me? Well, no, it's true. Now the cup of noodles are in paper cups. Yeah, they are. They I used saw to be, them at the store today, actually. They used to be in styrofoam. What I promised you was a cup of noodles in a styrofoam cup, and they no longer have those, so there's nothing I can do about that. Well, <laughs> the cup of noodles brand has it in paper. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, that's what I promised, so it's fine. Cup of noodles brand. Yeah. Uh, what is that? Apostrophe, vertical line, and symbol. Hope says you're a monster. I'm a monster, huh? What kind of monster? I'm his wife and he's the nicest. This is my wife, Rachel. Yeah. I was just joking when I switched her. Just like Brad, so Brad Stover was just kidding about being mad at me. Uh, do I believe in mermaids? Share a story. My grandpa used to tell me they do exist. I do not believe in mermaids, no. I just jokingly shushed my wife. What is this that I scrolled into? You are a cookie monster. Okay, fine. Like solely for Monsters, Inc. or like Ted Bundy monster? Yeah, that's my question as well. Or like, uh, you know, like, Jordan, Michael Jordan was a monster, you know, like that kind of monster. Mm. I remind you of someone. Hmm. Bloody Cat asks, Rachel, how did you meet Eric? Um, I followed his uh, YouTube because I was interested in Enneagram and he talked about Enneagram. So, um, I followed him and then he started making music. And I would comment on his post because at the end of his music videos, he'd be like, comment and, and like, you know, like and comment. And so I was like, yeah, I'll definitely leave a comment. Like, his music was really good. So um, I started listening to his music while I was at work. And then when I was home and he was live streaming, I would go and on the live stream and hang out. Um, yeah, and then eventually I broke up with my old girlfriend, mm -hmm. and I was just kind of like, I'm looking for a new girlfriend now. And, uh, and at some point thereafter, Rachel hired me to type her, and then the rest is history, you know. Uh, so now we're married, you know. Yeah, you said that you were looking to date someone 30 and older, and I was like, oh, I'm 34, I would be you. Right. Um. But you were the one who initiated, like... The dating part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True that. Uh, bless you too, Brad Stover. You go have a good a good time. Hi, Ricardo. I enjoy stopping by this live, to be honest. Well, oh, that's, that's nice great. to hear, Ricardo. I'd like to think it's a pleasant enough live stream. It's, uh... It's just us living our regular lives in our regular way. If you could make up a cool origin story for your relationship, how would it go? Uh, I think it would involve me saving Rachel from a great white shark by, you know, swimming out, punching it in the nose, probably. No, she's my wife. She's 39 and 52. Can I be a mermaid that turns into a human? Sure, that'd be cool. Putty Cat says that it's an extra pleasant live stream in there here. Well, you know, Pretty Cat, you do provide a, a steady uh, flow of questions to you respond. Do. You do. Uh, be one, either for defeating the Satan or destroy of humanity using artificial intelligence. Uh, I mean, it's not that shocking. She's 13 years younger than me. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not an idiot. You so. know what I've been using um, 
AI for ChatGPT. What? A uh, seasonal color analysis. I'll use a picture of myself and then take like the the code for the color and put it into GP Chat GPT. And um, I'm definitely in autumn, but it changes like. So I ask it. I get like very precise. But yeah, I used um, Chat GPT for color analysis and. KE's the one who shared a video with me on how to do it. The only one either for defeating the Satan or destroying of humanity in order to fix the intelligence. Thoughts? I mean, Would you I'm, like another drink? Uh, yeah, sure. That'd be great. Well, I'm going to end this poll relatively soon. You know, as soon as I get ready to cook, I'll end the poll. And then I'll make whatever the poll has decided. Um... I can't even see what the votes are as I have the live chat currently popped out and shaped. I can't see what the vote tally is. So. Did I not get all the bags? What do you mean? Like when, I don't remember putting any grapefruit juice in. I, I put it in. I put it in. Thank you. You left it out, I thought, presumably because it didn't really have a good place to go. So. Oh. But I ended up just putting it in where it was. You know, oh, okay. Where I put it, just put it where, where, where I put it. So. I'm sorry, I missed it. It's okay. Yes, it's true. Either defeat the Satan or destroyer of the world using artificial intelligence, choose one. I don't get the choice. So, like, I get my choice is defeat the Satan. Or defeat artificial intelligence to set out to destroy the world? Is that my choice? <laughs> I, I don't quite get it. What do I do all break, all day? Well, today, I slept in as late as I could. Uh, then I got up, I live streamed a little bit. And then Rachel got up, we had some lunch. Uh, then we went to the supermarket, which we really needed to go to the supermarket. We got groceries. Um... Came back. Oh, you're going to do one of those two things? Okay, well, I guess defeat the Satan. If I have to choose between the two. Are you going to do whichever one I choose? Is that why I have to choose? <laughs> or... Yeah. I'm not sure. You do that much of stuff? <coughs> oh, yeah, I do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you know, like I said, we went to the store. Oh, man, we take the lead. Well... My daughter already has a boyfriend. Why do you care so much about these people in the world? Which people in the world? You mean people other than myself? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm actually pretty selfish, to be honest. I don't really think... Yeah, it is a good game. Yeah, it is. I don't really think that... Uh, I don't really think that... I'm especially... Empathetic, etc., as a kind of way of being. I feel strongly when I have to encounter uh, when I have to encounter suffering in the world. But I, I certainly am not like a big giver of charity, so to speak. You know, not getting you much literally but am enjoying being here okay well you might not be a i don't know maybe you're not a native speaker of english or something and that's certainly understandable you were gonna say rachel hi Winston's mom um if next time we go to merced could we see if they have a goodwill there so i can donate my clothes sure these people won't miss you if you're dead well i mean some people will miss me if I'm dead, and some people won't. What's the point about caring about humanity? Uh, I think I I care about humanity at an appropriate amount, which is to say, it's not something that I prioritize regularly in my attentional metric, you know. It's not like I spend my time worrying about the hum, human condition. Do I think The Rock can become president? Yeah, probably he could. And certainly I'm not 
one who's advocating that everybody else should worry more about the human condition. So I don't know why you're asking me why we should care about it. Because I'm not... Are you asking me to make the advocacy that we should? You're lying, though, because if a homeless person asks them for money, you wouldn't give them any money. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not very compassionate. I'm pretty selfish. How is that lying? It's exactly what I'm saying. I'm not somebody who's going to give a lot of charity or anything. Do you think that I'm empathetic? Yeah, I do. I think, I think, I think we're both empathetic. I think I just do a better job of avoiding, um, avoiding things that make me feel empathy. Because I really, you know, I don't like things that make me feel money. That make me feel uh, emotions or whatever, or bad. Do I donate money or time to charity? No, I don't. So I don't know how that's inconsistent with my opinion that I'm selfish and don't really care that much about humanity. <laughs> that seems consistent with, to me, right? I care about Rachel a lot. I care about my daughter. Care about some friends and stuff. I'm thinking of taking a little 230 mile road trip to northern Vermont to see the eclipse on Monday. Got a 17 year old beat up beater civic with a rejection sticker, but I kind of feel compelled. What's a rejection sticker? I don't know what that is. You didn't pass inspection? Oh, it means you have a, a non operation permit. Aiden. You're not going to be able to see where you live? Well, I would suggest 10 Korean. That's probably ill-advised. No, thank you. I'm not going to get money. K.E. enjoys volunteering. The snow is not quite all gone. Eric, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'd like to be a live streamer. Eric, do you donate money or turn to charity? No. Have you ever had an overdue library book? Yes. Oh. You know what I say about libraries, though? Libraries, schmibraries. Yes, Shomidi, why are you repeating Pooty Cat's questions? What are you thinking? My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Blargs says, I don't blame you. Hope says, hi, K at... I think none of the people in the world wouldn't want you to succeed, but themselves, so they're selfish, so why do you try to be different from others just to help me destroy the world? Well, what makes you think I'm trying to be different than others? Trying to destroy the world. <laughs> I mean, why would I want to destroy the world? Yeah. I'm in the world, part of the world. It's generally preferable that the world go more according to, more, more orderly and in a better state of being. Then, uh, then it'd be more chaotic and in a less good state of being. Skaji Podulista Psychobliat. How will the world end soon? I don't think so. No, I do not have a library card currently. I'm angry, says Show Media, but otherwise I'm fine. What are you angry about, Show Media? T bone steak cut in strips, Goya, let Mary in a few hours and slap your mama, cook on a skillet with butter. Is that person? <laughs> what go, gun would I, you own and why? Um, you're saying that everything in the world right is fairly done, huh? <clears throat> well, I'm saying that there's a difference between good, just, righteous, fair, and bad, unjust, you know, oppressive, etc. I have currently a rifle, but uh, I don't have any thoughts on furries. I do have a thought of the following. UConn just made it a one point game by successfully getting the ball inside, doing a little work in the low post, as they say. It's so a one point lead, Alabama lead, which is nice. Everything about everything is about selfishness and money, but you trying to deny that for some reason. Uh, I don't believe I took a position on it either way. No, you didn't. 
So if you're trying to confer some confer some sort of uh I lower it a bit. Well, I could point it down a bit. I could lower the whole thing a bit. Possible. But I think it's time to go make yes, dinner. Yes, who won? So let's see who won the, the vote. Close pull? Whatever. Let me close this thing here. Bring it up over here. <gasps> oh. No. Well, all right, we're gonna have to let's let's end pull now. End pull now? Is that what you want to eat? Yeah, and, I would eat that. What What did you vote for? I I voted for pasta with red sauce and sausage. All right, there we go. So the winner is pasta with red sauce and sausage in a close vote. Mm, is it from uh, Platoon? Anyway, now we know what we're making. We're making pasta with red sauce and sausage. What do I think of the UK? I have been to the UK before. I enjoyed my time there. It was fine, you know. I went to London. I went to France. I went to show everybody my underpants. Can I have a little muffin thing? Of course. Why would you even have I have to? Because... People were always telling me that you're going to ruin your appetite, but I always just... Just eat when you Yeah. Okay. Obviously, I've got a little clean up here to do before we can start cooking. Turn on some more lights. Let's get it nice and well lit in here. Yes, that's a lot of lights. They're all on now. All right, I'm going to take off this jacket. Then I'm going to start today by cleaning up the dishes from lunch and from something we took out of the refrigerator today. I'm going to lower this down a little bit so that everyone can enjoy the joy of seeing things, okay? I know how much you guys enjoy seeing things. You like to use your visual senses you like Kim Jong Un you like to see things point at things Mommy's really a great leader yeah alright the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to wash this casserole dish let's do that call this live stream you can call this domestic bliss the live stream mm -hmm. as Rachel and I just go about our domesticities cooking doing the dishes you know watching basketball going to the store sometimes doing some chores taking the trash and such and those kind of things <laughs> basic domesticities the thing is about basic domesticity, you've got you've got a dual factor consideration at play. On the one hand, it's not especially exciting. On the other hand, it probably is kind of soothing and pleasant. And since we do represent sort of a happy couple living a normal, regular life, uh, <clears throat> Well, you know, to the extent that there's a market for this kind of 
content. That's just live streaming our life. Well, meet that. We'll fill that niche. And I don't doubt that there are indeed some people out there who find that kind of pleasant, agreeable, domestic life pleasant enough to consume. Especially if I can maintain at least a mildly interesting pattern of words in the process. So I'm going to put this uh, dish down here in the other casserole dish. I see Rachel's doing a bang up job of getting the clean dishes out of the dishwasher. Thank you, thank you. So let me move this out of the way. So I can put those away right over here. And you're getting a great view of this, by the way. This is excellent camera work by Eric. I bet it is. It is. All right, I'm gonna give you an even better view. It's gonna be like this. You're gonna love this. Piao, oh my God. It's like you're really seeing things for the first time forever without stopping, right? Yeah. That's how it is, folks. That's how we do things here, talking to those people. Now we're going to change it up. We're going to let you see it this way because that's the kind of giving live stream this is. Yes. Oh, yeah. Put them in, Eric. Put them in. Where are you going to put them? I'm going to put them right there. Oh, yeah. Those things just got put. All right. Now that we've put those things away. <laughs> Let's return our attention to our business here at the sink, okay? Let's get you a little further back. Here we go. As you see, we've got some dishes in the sink currently. These dishes here, these two dishes, I don't want to put in the dishwasher because I use them too frequently. So I'm going to wash these independent of these other dishes. Most of these other dishes, they can go in the dishwasher, except for this big pot, which I'll wash myself. Well, I got a little soap on this. I'm soaping these bad boys up. I'm just going to rinse them off with some water. As you see, Rachel is putting away some silverware. And in a second, I'll move this so I can put away the cups and glasses here. These are done. I'm just going to shake them, shake them, shake them. Not unlike my wiener after I urinate. Facts. And now I'm going to clean this rice pot here. Put some soap in there. I'm going to scrub all along the bottom of the pot here. In yeah fashion, okay? For those of you who don't know how to scrub a pot, this is how you do it. And turn it there, just like that. And we're going to get all these bits of rice out of there. We're going to rinse, and as we rinse, we'll scrub again to make sure we got all of the rice remnants away from the pot. There we go. Now we can rinse. And rinse some more. Make sure we get all of the soup and rice out of there. Rinse the outside a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now we can put this pot back over in here. Or we could use this pot to cook the pasta in. We'll probably do that. That seems like a better choice.
But here you get the view you want, right? This is a, a bird's eye, excellent view of Rachel herself putting real cups and glasses away mm -hmm. in the real cabinet, okay? I'm not using any CGI here. There's no AI at work, okay? This is real life content. Streamed in real time from our real house, putting real cups and glasses in our real cabinet. That's how real this is. It's so real. This is as real as it gets, folks. Wow. That was excellent, Rachel. I think you just blew us all away. Thanks. I hope you guys gained something from it. I think you might get the YouTube Academy Award for Best Cup Put in a live stream. Thanks, thanks. I really tried my best for the team, you know, TWFP. Yeah. You did a great job, even though you're too short to even be doing that. <laughs> there you go. All right. Excellent work, Rachel. Excellent Thank you. work. My poor wife is five foot two. You see the difference between us. I'm considerably <laughs> taller than she is. Yeah. Do we want to put these in the oh, yeah. in dishwasher? Mm -hmm. Alright, well Rachel gets those in the dishwasher. I'm going to uh, I'm going to start up with the cooking here. So as per the boat, which one by a you know, like a single boat or something. I, no, I got more of those. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to cook pasta with red sauce and sausage. First, we're going to start the pasta in here. Okay. Although pasta doesn't take as long as rice, so. I'm gonna just wipe out this pan here. I could use this cooked fried rice earlier, but that's fine. Yeah? Yeah, I don't know why. Doing this right now with you makes like and having Joey and Mitchell in the background would be so pleasant. Yeah, it would. You're right. Just before I look at last I said You were as constant as the northern star I Constantly in the darkness Way there If you want me I'll be in the bar In the back of a cartoon poster With a blue TV screen up Under a map of Canada Oh Canada Ah, with your face kissed on it twice. Let's go get some pasta. You're in my blood like holy wine. You taste so bitter and so sweet. Oh, I could drink a case of you, darling. And I would still be on my feet. Yeah, I would still be on my feet. I don't see any pasta in here. Maybe we have some in the kitchen. I don't think we have any pasta. Really? I don't see any anywhere. Well. Unless it's... I'm going to put it up here. Wait, wait, wait. Here's some pasta. I found some. Okay. Yep. Wow. Did you pick that up for me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So here's some pasta. Now that's a good news. Uh, we have some pasta. Yes. Yeah, All right. So I think what we need to do really is boil the water before we put the pasta mm -hmm. in. So, we're going to fill this up with water. Unlike rice, it's not especially important the exact amount of water you get, right? No, with not. rice, you need to have like exactly two cups for exactly one meal of water. Not so with pasta. So 
So we'll fill this pot up about halfway or so with water. I've already put some salt in the water. That's good enough. Now I'll bring it over here. Let's bring it over here and let's look at it right here. What we're going to do, I'm going to turn that on high. We're going to put this lid right on top of it. And then I'm going to get a paper towel and I'm going to see if I can clean up this, this uh, stove a little bit. Then I'll take this trash out. Well, I need to get another trash can from the street. I really need to bring the trash can in from the street right now. Good thing you kept streaming because 44 people are watching right now. Oh, that's fantastic. Alright, so we're just cleaning up a little bit of these old bits of rice from previous instances of fried rice that I made. Might as well take this opportunity to clean the stove a little bit. You know, I like to think everything useful that I do when I'm not on Adderall it's just like bonus points. I don't really expect myself to be useful at all when I'm not on it all. So when I accomplish anything useful, I feel like, hey, I'm really killing it now. All right. Sophia doesn't want to eat this. I'll put that back up there. Now, let's see what we have on top while this water is boiling. Well... I'll put this garbage can away. Back where it comes up. I really need to mop the floors in here. But that will have to wait till another day. Now, as you see here, I've got not just a pot, but also a pan. And the reason I have a pan is because I'm going to be doing some, uh, some sausage in here, along with some red sauce. So we'll start with the sausage. We're going to need to remove from this package of sausages a single sausage, which will be sufficient for our sauce. So I'm just going to cut away this plastic. Okay, I'm going to just break that off there. And these, fortunately, are not quite frozen yet. So that makes it a little bit easier. All right. So, now that we have this sausage in the pan, it's not all the way frozen yet, so I'm going to cut it right now. It's very convenient to cut right now because it's firm, but not all the way frozen. So that'll make it... A lot easier for me to cut it now than when it's partially cooked. Normally I have to cut it when it's partially cooked because of course normally I have fully frozen sausages. Tina says you need more than one sausage. Well, Tina, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you. We're going to have red sauce in here, some butter in here, garlic, a bunch of other things. We need a certain amount of sausage for the sauce, and not too much sausage. I already asked Rachel about this, one sausage or two. She also said one sausage. I was thinking one sausage is probably special for the sauce as well. Sean L asks, what is being made? What is being made is pasta with red sauce and Italian sausage in the sauce. I'm starting by cooking up the sausage, but before I even cook it, I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. 
I could have gotten if they had had the this kind of sausage in that thing. They have these uh, ground up sausage. You can get where it's already pre ground up. But that would, they only had that for spicy Italian sausage, and I don't want the spicy Italian sausage. Because I'm a gringo, alright? I don't love spiciness. Alright, now that I've cut up those sausages, I'm going to wash this knife and my hands real good, because they have raw pork on them now. Now I've got the soap out, I've got the hot water going. Big Dog Morpho says, I love Cholula. Mm, Nick says, oh, I have to go to the store, so I'm going to put y'all in my pocket for a little bit. Sounds good. All right. Now I'm going to turn this on here. There we go. And we're going to get a couple of more ingredients that we want to get for this part of the equa equation. Just a little spoon is fine. Okay. Just gonna cut off, you know, yeah, amount of butter. Yeah, not a ton of butter here. Thank you. You're welcome. And get some of this garlic. Nice garlic that you get. That's the fresh garlic is already in for you. Much more convenient than chopping it up yourself. We'll put some of that in there. Now we're going to put this butter in this garlic back. Okay, we get this, my favorite all-purpose spatula. It's a good chopper, it's plastic, so then it's great to pots and pans, you know. It's a good stiff spatula, but it's not, it's got this kind of nice shape to it as well. You could well say it's my spatula of choice. Alright, well that's smelling quite good already. And we just barely got it started. So naturally, I don't want to put some onions in it, but I want to chop up a bunch of onions. So I'm just going to put in some of these dried onions. Leave out a lot of flavor to it. And then put a little salt. Pasta really needs salt. A little pepper here. Okay, next we're going to get a can of tomato paste. I guess we might need two cans of tomato paste. Alright. Pretty Cat asks, will that sausage give you heartburn? No, no, this is mild sausage. It's sweet sausage, I believe, even. It's yeah, sweet sausage, which is a kind of mild sausage, you know. It's not spicy. 
Okay. Big Dog Mofo says, I always waste my time chopping real onion. Yeah, you know, I think the dried onions have more flavor in them anyway. Alright, now I'm going to get out this little can opener. And I'm going to put in here one can of tomato paste. looking pretty good. So we'll let that cook and simmer a little bit. If need be, we can always add a little bit more water later if it gets too thick. But right now it's looking about the right consistency. Alright. I'm going to throw a couple pieces of trash away here. Now, we're going to take the lid off this and see if it's boiling. That is boiling, no doubt about it. We will open up the pasta. And we will get about two people's worth of pasta, which is about this much pasta. Here's our pasta. We're going to break it up into pieces. We're going to spread it around like this. And we're going to try to prevent it from getting all clumpy, you know. Oops. Left a few pastas on the ground. Get those. And then we'll just let this cook, you know, open lid for a bit until it gets up to a boil again. We'll stir it around a bit. And we're looking at about probably 10 minutes on this, I think, once it gets back to a boil. As far as this sauce goes, I'm just going to turn it off now. Meow. And leave it right there until the pasta is done. This pasta probably will take less time than some other kinds of pasta because it's so skinny. Let's see what it says on the back. It says boil for three to four minutes. Wow. That's quick. That is quick. So I'm glad I looked at that. I'm going to do four minutes from now. And once it's done cooking in here, I'll need a strainer for this. Big Dog Mofo says, my Italian friend said never break in half. So, uh... Yeah, well, your Italian friends can suck it, okay? 
Then his Italian wife didn't say anything. with the frogs on it is? You know what I'm talking about? So far, so good. This technique is working fine. Okay, thank you, Tyler. Charm Bright Mander X, what are you asked? What are you making me? We're making pasta with red sauce and Italian sausage. So. Mia. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now we're done with this. Yeah, such a good kid in the end. All right, now we're going to do the following thing. We're going to get this bad boy. We're going to put it in the sink. Take off the lid. Pour it in, in the drink. Okay. Now well, that's poured in there. Put some water in there for that to fill up with water. 
Um, so put this up in here. And now we'll bring this over here. We're going to turn this on. That's for now. And then we're going to mix all of this pasta around in the sauce here. And then if it turns out to not be enough sauce, which it might, then I'll deal with that in a second. But I think actually it's going to be enough sauce. It looks like enough sauce to me. All right. So yeah, this is looking like an adequate saucing. It is. With adequate sausage. Yes. And I think it's going to be quite delicious. I think so too. Once we give it a try here. I would say that's done. Obviously, we're not making fried pasta. We're just cooking the things together like that. So now we're going to get two of these nice bowls here. They're good pasta bowls. And actually, we got even better pasta. Bowls. So let's use this. Yeah, those are specifically called pasta bowls. They're like Portuguese pasta bowls. Well, here we go with the pasta bowl. All right, now. Seanel asked, did you add milk to the red sauce to balance out the acidity? No, but I did add butter. And I may put a little pat of butter on top, too. Mmm. Which I think is a good idea. That looks delicious. Thanks. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This almost looks like um, the noodles for like uh, pad thai. Yeah. It does look like the noodles for pad thai. Especially with this kind of red that makes it look kind of chilly. Yeah. And it's... No, we're not going to drink chocolate milk with our dinner, Pudi Cat. Shona says, butter also works. Stronger flavor, but same effect. Nice. All right. Just a little bit up here. There we go. Good. Eat. Nice. That's enough for this. Now we're going to get out a couple pats of butter. As for Sean's recommendation, we might as well make sure we got enough butter in there. There. Unfortunately, we don't have any uh, Parmesan cheese to put on top of it. Um, but let me see. Thing we'll get next time. Yeah, we get that next time. And let me see if we do have a substitute for that. We might have a little substitute for that. Let's see. Now it looks like I finished the uh, shredded cheese that we had before. Uh, 
here good I'll take mine and the camera and we, I do have a beverage already waiting so that's excellent so the way I made this I didn't use any can of spaghetti sauce instead I just used uh, tomato paste tomato paste and water with garlic and onions and stuff like that, you know. So let's see how it tastes. Well, I'm going to push this butter down into here a bit. Get it mixed around a bit. Cover it with some hot parts so that it melts. I'll let it sit for a moment while that melts. Hi, Autumn. How's it going? Uh... Well, Sean Al, I'm not necessarily super good at thinking about that sort of stuff. I just sort of usually end up putting some kind of butter in it, I guess. It would appear to be halftime of the UConn-Alabama game. And we will see what... Uh, greetings, Autumn Payne. We'll see what... Oh, this is charged now. Okay. Oops. Thank you. You're welcome. It has a thing in it? Uh, yeah. Hopefully it'll work. Okay. If it gives you trouble, I'll try heating it up again, but try putting it on, like, party mode or something. How do, how Push many? it two times. Okay. Mmm. so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really quite good. Mm. That's good stuff. I find it better than um, using like a jar of spaghetti sauce. Definitely. Eric's special sauce. Tomato paste is really the the trick that people don't know about very much is that you're going to get a lot more tomato flavor from your tomato yeah, paste, paste than from any other kind of tomato product. We do have dill pickles. I never had my spaghetti with dill pickles. But we'll go better with the spaghetti, actually. We have uh, olives and feta cheese. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Thanks, Mark Schiffer. Thanks, Mark Schiffer. So, what I'm drinking with this meal is Cost hauling non alcoholic beer. Yeah, me too. And they go together fantastically well, frankly. Mm. The jar of spaghetti sauce is an abomination. Why is there so much sugar in it? I don't know. I just don't find it tastes particularly good. I don't I don't have anything against it like you do, maybe. I would not call it an abomination, maybe, <laughs> but uh, I agree that you're going to get better spaghetti sauce if you uh, make yourself... No, I probably overcooked this spaghetti a little bit. Are you jealous of your sister right now, Triple? She is right to be there. I'm already full and I'm like very no, halfway I'm, done. I, me too. It's really good and I agree with you on the paste. Totally. Paste is so much better. Mm -hmm. Cheers, Larry Medina. Garlic bread would be great too. 
because this pasta is delicious. Hmm. <sighs> Thanks, Roger, Roger and Amick. Thanks, cheers. watching TWFP first time anyone has ever done this question mark quite possibly yeah yeah the thing is when you get spaghetti sauce in the jar they have a we have an interest in using more cheaper ingredients like tomatoes and fewer delicious ingredients like butter and sauces. Thank you. You're a beautiful person yourself. Oh, uh, Liz. <sighs> I'm impressed I'm doing a pretty good job with this. What I'm hoping is that when Rachel and I are both done, she'll combine these into one bowl and put some end wrap on top I of it. I was just going to do that to mine. I, I'm like, basically... Can you combine your mine? Yeah, you thing? think it'll fit? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have that much left. And then we can just put saran wrap on one. We don't have a lot of room in the fridge for mm -hmm. this right thing. Thanks, Jaron. You're welcome. You're the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. I got my sweat belt on. Ain't no one gonna stop it. No one gonna stop me from sweating my belt. I got my sweat belt on, ain't no one gonna stop it. No one gonna stop it from sweating my belt. I got my sweat belt on, ain't no one gonna stop it. No one gonna stop it. No one gonna stop it. Good job, Rachel. Thanks. That was a good idea. Ruben Bernard said he's got his sweat belt on. In about an hour, we're going to fire up our WW2 era spotlight. It's so bright that the power... <sighs> Let's see what this says. This is Klaus Holler fake beer. It's so bright that the power went out at Fort Casey during the basketball game in Fort Flag, where four miles across the water used their lights so they could finish the game. Huh. <laughs> well, that's quite a, that's quite a bright light you got there, Sean. All right, so let's go outside for a health tube. I am feeling pretty pleased with our delicious meal. Roger and Amy says, minced meat, onions, garlic, grape cheese, and tomato sauce, and coriander, and parsley, salt, and pepper, coming by a good wine. We didn't have any coriander, okay? We didn't have any grated cheese either. But we did have all those other things in the mix. Coriander, huh? That's not a spice I've ever really considered getting before. Coriander? Yeah, is this something that normally goes in the pasta sauce? Oh, I have no idea. I think we might benefit from getting some, you know, oregano. Maybe some parsley. Where's my ketchup? Oh, it's in the kitchen. So I'm not even gonna clean that uh pan right now because I can very much imagine myself later on this evening putting those leftover uh, leftover pasta 
into the frying pan to reheat it, you know. That seems like a very good evening snack of some kind. So, what's going on here in Eric Town? Well, it's a pleasant evening. Sun is setting. And, uh, Snow has done a pretty good job of melting. Yeah, it is. But we still have some snows left, obviously. We got a beautiful kitty cat right there. She's looking at some little birds. She'd like to catch those little birds, but. She knows, she should know by now, that her mother and I don't like it when she catches little birds. No. No, pink, it could be a meow. 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 <laughs> Sophia still likes to lick water off of her paw for some reason. <laughs> Rather than That's to lick it, it lick it directly. <laughs> <laughs> this is something she's always liked to do for some reason. Is... Sorry, Sophia, I don't mean to start you. Just to lick things lick water off of her paw. Oh wait, the lights on? Why is the light on? How did that come on? I didn't do it. And how do I turn it off? I don't know, maybe it just automatically comes on when it's dark or something? Maybe. A cat drinks. Yes, you. There, that should stop the light from being on. You know, it's very fresh air right here, right now. It feels like a little bit like Christmas and a little bit like spring. Ah, well, I'm glad we ate a nice, healthy dinner. We got some vegetables with the tomatoes, you know, and garlic. That's a vegetable. We could have gone crazy and made a salad, too. I didn't think about that. That would have been a good compliment since we didn't have any garlic bread or anything. I could have made garlic bread, too, you know. We're really making garlic bread. I know how they used to make it back in uh, at Anthony's Italian restaurant where I used to work at. And you just melt some butter. And you put a lot of garlic powder in it. Maybe a little fresh garlic. But I don't think they did that back then. And you paint that onto the bread. And you put a little bit more garlic powder on top of it. And that's it. And you cook it in the oven for a little while. So it's hot. And you've got delicious garlic bread. Because I did used to work at an Italian deli called Anthony's Italian Deli and Restaurant. I didn't work in the restaurant part, though. 
They had like a fancy sit down restaurant part, but I didn't work in that part. I worked in the deli part. All right, we're done with our health too. Let's go back inside. Let's relax. Let's enjoy an ongoing stream of simple domesticity. Tonight, we're planning on watching a little television. We're watching this basketball game. It's like, it's about, uh, or you talk second half. I certainly don't have Alabama as any of my national champions. I have a couple of brackets with UConn as national champion. I probably have a bracket with UConn and Purdue. UConn versus Purdue. I would guess. I probably do have that bracket. I haven't looked at my brackets in a while. But... Read the chat. Does it have good salami? Did it have good salami? Oh, uh... Well, um... You would have been nervous to get your deli meat and cheese from you. Mm -hmm. I never ate the salami. When because one of the things that came with the job was you got you were allowed to make your own lunch, like out of deli meat and bread and sam and cheese and stuff. I always made a uh, I don't really care who wins. I, I'd, I'd love to see the upset. I'd like to see Alabama take them out. That'd be fun. But I don't think that's particularly likely to happen. And Alabama's lucky not to get called for a foul on that play. I'm a cook and a pastry chef myself. I know Italian and French cuisine. It the whole of life I look for balance of taste. Well, I you know I don't think the I think the pasta tonight was perhaps a little too buttery. I don't think I necessarily need to add that extra pat of butter at the end. But uh, that was delicious. It was good, nevertheless, for sure. It was filling too. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, as somebody was talking about the acidicness of tomato sauce, I think it's probably less likely to say give us heartburn because it was so it was nice and buttery. Yeah. Uh, in a second, I'm going to get up and turn off some lights in the kitchen because they kind of glare at us when we have all the kitchen lights yeah, on. Yeah, they do. So Alabama is desperately trying not to let this game get away from them. That three-pointer helps a lot. I always made a sandwich with mustard cheese and corned beef. Or pastrami, depending on what I felt like. No, <coughs> I use corned beef usually. Uh, I'm not much of a gardener. <laughs> it's filling is what my great-grandfather used to tell his wife when he didn't like the meal. Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't my uh, best meal ever. But it was good. I thought it was good. It was filling and... I like that you used the tomato paste and our own ingredients for the sauce. And I'm actually glad that you broke the spaghetti in half because it made it easier to eat. Yeah. To be honest, I don't remember what kind of bread I used. Uh, I think I used a sandwich roll. And I'd cook it in the... And to melt the cheese and stuff before, um, before I'd eat. I'd put the salad, I mean, like the lettuce and stuff on top of it. Uh, so Alabama's cut it to a three point game now. I think this is already, this is even at just a couple minutes to the second half closer than I think people expected. The UConn center is like 7 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think he's quite that tall, but he just got a shit blocked by Alabama's. Swarming low post defense. Yeah. Alabama having trouble making any hay inside the key with that big center threatening to block everything, but they make another jump shot here. And, uh, do you have dinner with our neighbors? No, we don't have dinner with our neighbors. Uh, first of all, it's very difficult for us to schedule something like dinner because Rachel and I never know when we're going to be hungry and when we're not mm -hmm. and when we're hungry we eat when we're not we don't dinner time tonight was regular dinner time but that's unusual yeah repeat apologies if you've read it already haven't the small birds in your yard are often dark-eyed juncos 
Huh, dark eyed junkos. Dark eyed junkos, the black headed ones. Those little sparrow like things, these really aren't sparrows. Oh, wow, we have a lot of lights in the kitchen. A lot of lights. Yeah, we do. You used to forget their names, so they are called the Black Eyed Peas around your house? Hmm. Do they say to you, instead of tweet, 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 do they say, let's get retarded in here? Okay, Capillo, okay. Come in. <sighs> Difficult cats. I got some new shampoo today. Yeah! I like to get new smell of shampoo. And we got shampoo that's now cruelty free. Yeah, well, not my shampoo. The kind of shampoo I got... I get it based on getting a new smell. Yeah, and this time the I got that you get has a lot of new smells. This one I believe I got was kiwi lime. Yeah, is that what it is kiwi lime. Yeah. So I'm excited to smell what it smells like. Fun fact: they say dead people smell like Parmesan cheese. Hmm. Yeah. Rachel, have you ever had a guinea pig? No, I've never had a guinea pig. <laughs> Shampoo for what? I just body wash, really. I just use it for everything. And I just use my bar of soap. Uh, actually, I really kind of get the shampoo not really for when I'm cleaning myself, per se. Hi, Capio. What a special kitty. Yes. Oh my goodness. What a special lady. What an important kitty friend. We all know. We all recognize the truth. Catherine Elizabeth, Elizabeth Bourne. Last few years, I started tasting food that I had never before. And at times, I as myself, what the hell, why didn't I do this a long time before? Well, you know, people get in food habits, right? People like what they like. They know they like it. They don't necessarily want to try something new because they might not like it. Hello. Why, hello, kitty. What an important kitty friend. Yes. Daddy knows. Mommy knows. And daddy loves. And mommy loves. Did the cats ever try catnip? No, I don't think we've ever gotten them catnip, really. No. Do you think cats can be retarded? <laughs> Probably they don't survive if they're retarded. But maybe some of them. You can help to make a more professional thumbnail for me. Uh, I mean, do you even see what my thumbnail is? I don't believe I've, uh, I've actually typed anything in the chat. My thumbnail's fine the way it is, you know. I want to see if the chat can help me. I'm not particularly interested in coming across as professional. Help you with what, my darling? Find out if I'm a uh, soft, warm, or deep autumn. Was Rachel a soft, or something else. warm, or deep autumn, or something else? Look at her and tell us. Yeah. If this you... is my skin tone. This is my hair. Mm-hmm. My eyes are like that. They're kind of brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brown eyes. Is, she wants to know her color palette. Is she a soft, a deep, or a meow autumn? <laughs> what exactly does that mean? I'm not sure. Mahir Al Shah Rear Riar says, okay, I like your content. Well thanks, Mahir. 
Yeah, I've been doing just doing me for a long time now. I don't put much effort into trying to be meow or meow. I'm just me. People either like it or they don't. My oh, nice job, Alabama. Beans are blue and green, like a turquoise. I'd say warm, says Big Dog Mofo. Warm autumn? Warm autumn? That's what chat, chat, chat GPT is between usually a warm or a soft autumn. I don't think I'm soft, though. Tammy Cox says she goes soft. She goes soft oh, autumn. Oh, really? Yeah. But John says warm aesthetics. Okay. I wonder why we are like that. Why we are like what? Why we have skin tones? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, why we want to find out what seasonal palette we are. I mean, I, I don't care. <laughs> have I ever used a typewriter? Yes. Uh, in fact, I have a really cool typewriter. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Me neither. I think it might be in the tech closet someplace. Uh, maybe I could go get it and show it to you, in fact. What makes veins blue when the blood is red? Well, it depends on how oxygenated it is. Uh, have I ever used a miter saw? I'm not sure. Squiggles says, are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Uh, Tim says, the way the light refract, retracts, but you think he means refracts. Uh, what they call it over the back on that center. I'm surprised that looked like actually a foul on Alabama, but they didn't call it that way. What would you say my eyes have? What do you mean? They're more neutral brown, right? You guys are just regular brown eyes. Yeah, they, they don't have any like gold flecks or anything. It's just like neutral brown. Yeah, I mean, if they had flecks, I would say gold, not green. If yeah, I had to not choose green. The two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we already had dinner. And. Okay, uh, Sean votes warm. I think Chap GPT must be right then. Good day. I was wondering, do you think my parents are keeping my birth certificate from me? I'm 19, can't even get a job, but it feels like they blame me. I mean, have you seen your birth certificate? It's true what Tim says. You don't need a birth to be Yeah, a I was job, thinking that too. Usually, but... You just have to be 16. If you have a driver's license or something, then that should be adequate. I'd fill out for more. Sometimes places don't get... They get a lot of, like, incoming but, applications. But I think it, Iran will retaliate. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly where, where, uh, where they would retaliate. That's a good point, Sean L. If you're 19, then you can get a copy and bypass your hoarding parents. Catherine Elizabeth Bourne says, do any of you get on a single item food kick? Yeah, we've been on a bit of a rice kick lately. Yeah, we have. <clears throat> I have painted my nails one time, and uh, I painted them blue, I think. Why? I don't know why. I just felt like it. I don't know. Someone was playing with nail polish, and I decided I wanted to play with it, too. How do I come out to your mom? Say, Mom, I'm a homosexual. I think that's the best way to do it. Yes, I answered the question the first time you asked it. You don't need to ask it four times. Like that is the only thing you try to perfect or eat every chance you get. I mean, I have been eating, making a lot of fried rice. And I think Rachel and I have been enjoying it. Yeah, we have. Which is why I, uh, I've been asking. Why, why, why have I been making it?
I don't know how you come out to your thumb. You just, the same way. Just say, dear thumb, I am gay. 56 to 56 now. Alabama has tied oh. up. UConn getting more of a game, I think, than they expected out of the Crimson Tide here. Uh, four seed. Certainly, Alabama comes in. An underdog into this game. Probably by a good eight or nine points. Oh, is that you, Sean Allen? You're the lady in red? That was weird earlier, huh? I don't know what to make all of that about all of that stuff earlier. I like Lucky Charms cereal. Rachel likes Lucky Charms. My thumbs are really sore after riding my bike. I thought it'd be temporary, but it's been a week. Huh. Wow. Sounds like you need better suspension on your bike, Thames. It sounds like to me. Yeah, that was weird AF. I agree. Uh, Scott, whatever his name is. A.K.A. Randy, A.K.A. What was the, uh, what was his name again? Oh, is that, is that what your thumbnail is? I didn't know. What's the longest train ride I've ever been on? Uh, probably from, um, Shanghai to Wuxi Dong. That wasn't a super long train ride. I don't know. I, I've never gone on a super long train ride that I can think of. Well, no, actually, probably the longest train ride I've been on is from LA to San Francisco. I did that when I was a kid. That's how we got to choir camp. We took the train. Uh, do you think the solar eclipse will be significant? No. I don't. Is it okay if I blame the eclipses for the reason why I'm keeping them up at night? Uh, you can blame whatever you want. <laughs> I think you're not so much up at night as you keep trying to go to bed too early. Yeah. You know, you should listen to what Dr. Ingram says and take your meds when you actually get tired. Okay. Rather than when you think you should go to bed, you know? Okay. A lot of dunks. You kind of back up by six. So, Alabama's tie was short-lived. Your thumb is a huge thumb buff. Maybe that's because you keep sticking it up your butt. This is like the smell of poop. Yeah. Now it's up, UConn's up by eight. So, <coughs> uh, presumably the Alabama Crimson Tide have called a timeout here. Well, it seems to be a break in the action. <laughs> yeah, I've right. seen some shit. Yeah, twins. Blue Dragon 4888 is back and better than ever. Winning all the prizes. He's winning all the fabulous prizes. Can I give you a kiss on the cheek and a kiss on the lips? Of course, my darling. I love you. I love you too. Uh, time for me to pull a couple of bone rips. So, I think I'll clear this what's left here first. See if I can. Iron Lion's back as well. This book gives me number 23 vibes. Why has there been so much going on with this eclipse? Blank, banks and post office, etc. are closed. That's odd. I don't know why that would be. Are they closed? 
No, the kiss didn't taste like anything. It just, tastes like love. It just felt soft and plushy. Yeah. And Aries has the cutest soft cheeks. I love kissing them. She's a good wife. She loves me. I do love you. It's going to be a forever clip, so at the end of times. Wow. Why this one? After so many eclipses we've had, why is this one yeah. the one that's going to cause the end times? We've had lots of eclipses before. Yeah, the last eclipse that I saw was like in 2016. What's my best memory from kindergarten? Uh, I don't have a lot of memories from kindergarten, but I remember playing with this turtle in the, in the grass area behind the kindergarten. That's so cute. How'd you find it? I mean, it's a turtle that lived back there, you know? Really? There's this fenced-in grass area behind the two kindergarten classes, classrooms. And the turtle lived out there and, you know, it couldn't get out of the fenced-in area any more than the kids could. And uh, they just put lettuce out there for it periodically, you know. The kids, and you were hanging out with it? Yeah, I just remember playing with it. I don't know if, uh, like, I don't really remember much more than that. Just remember playing with it. I remember playing outside up back there in kindergarten. How do you play with the turtle? I don't know, you just watch it eat lettuce or whatever. Aww, that's cute. You were spending time with it. Yeah. Alabama's got the ball. They're down by eight. UConn almost intercepts it, but it's going to stay with Alabama. <laughs> I like that face Dan Hurley made. Yeah, me too. Ooh. He, he's got a very expressive face. <laughs> yeah, he does. Making lots of facial expressions. Uh, no, I don't think it was a snapping turtle, but he said. It was a friendly turtle. I think you're a friendly turtle. Thanks. I wouldn't want to be perceived as an unfriendly turtle. Eric, have you ever petted a dolphin? No, I have not. Well, maybe I have, but not that I remember. <coughs> <coughs> I heard Columbus used the eclipse knowledge to scare the natives into giving them food. Well, if I were Columbus, I would have used my guns instead. Have I ever actually watched paint dry? No, I have not. At least not for very long. Truth is, yes, I have, but not for very long. Cochise is an awesome pick. What about Tonto? Do I think men in locker rooms are gay? Mm, not necessarily. Oh, men's locker rooms. Uh, yeah, I have seen grown men naked at some point, I'm sure. Uh, these people are playing pick a pickleball, but not today. Because the Nissan Altima is driving around. No, I'm sorry, the Pathfinder. The Nissan Pathfinder is driving around. I mean, you know, I think working out in general 
It was kind of gay. It's not something I'm going to go do. I'm not going to go work out, you know. But it's not because it's kind of gay. It's because I just, I'm not that into, uh, I'm not that into working out, you know. I'm just not. Land Cruiser is greater than a Pathfinder. I'm sure it is. But I'm not in the market for any kind of car. Even those that either, neither those that find paths, nor those that range roads. I mean, that rove ranges. Range Rover is a good name. Yeah, the full naked gym locker room thing is weird. Yeah, it's weird. I might, yeah, buddy cat, I very well might do that. I might put Winston's mom in my cabinet, yeah. If she's down to do some sort of defense secretary kind of position, you know. Well, if you're referring to Sean Nabab's question, that's a quote from the movie Airplane, Winston's mom. Uh, so he was making a joke of, by quoting the movie Airplane there. Wesley Nielsen famously says that line in the movie. Brits should stop making cars. Um, I have been in a, a fancy Mercedes one time, some a few years back, and I was impressed by the fact that when you ran, went around a corner, the, the seat of the Mercedes pushed you back towards the middle of the seat. It was like, reach out and push you. <sighs> yeah, that's that quote from Airplane. Um, <clears throat> oh, nice job, Alabama. Alabama's cut the lead to six now. Rice, says Hart. You know what, Rice? You've really become one of my favorite starches. You really have. Uh, I've been on a big fried rice kick lately. We had I fried rice too. today for lunch. Yeah, it's delicious. Tonight, we switched it up. We had pasta. But we have rice a lot more than we have pasta, I'll yep. tell you that. So, I, I'm a big fan of you and your ways, Rice. Well, Alabama cannot seem to, uh, I thought you got mouse. I did get mice. I also got, just like you, like you got um, bison, gorilla, and lion. Oh. So, whichever one you resonate with the most is the one that you go with. Are that your animal tri-type? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, my animal tri-type was mouse, beaver, and cottontail. And Kate East said that I'm more like a cottontail than a mouse. So I was mm. like, okay. Well. I don't find you very particularly beaver-like. Thanks. You're not that into uh, making a dam, chopping down trees, <laughs> slapping That's things right. with your tail. No, I'm not. Cottontail. That's a cute, cute one for you to be, you know. That was one of the descriptions for cottontail. Cute. Yeah. Uh, I think that's appropriate. When you got mouse, you probably said, well, that's what I am in Chinese astrology. Yeah, that's got to be a foul. And one. That should be and one. Pasta is just long ass rice. Pasta is not long ass rice, okay? It's made out of totally different stuff. Rice is made out of rice and pasta is made out of wheat. Yes, I do, actually. Chris Peaster? 
Oh, Chris Chapman. I tell you, you UConn's women's team suffered a disappointing loss. That call at the end of that game was kind of crazy, you know. I can't believe they called that moving screen. It was, in fact, a moving screen, but in that circumstance, I can't believe they called it. Probably UConn would have won that game. Oh, my God, they lost? No, no, I'm talking about the women's oh, team the last women's. night. They lost to Iowa, remember? Yeah. I was surprised. <laughs> First half, they were like... The, the, the crazy thing is, the refs decided that game. You know, the refs decided that game, and the refs should not have decided that game. Do you think your gripes are mainly with the pacing of older anime? Like how some people don't like older movies because they're slow? Yeah, it has something to do with that. I like things that move quickly. I think that's probably the best way to put it, really. Um, can I do the thug shake? Fine, I'll do the thug shake for you. First, remember, you got to sing the... That is an interesting question. I've never heard that question before. Uh, I will, You have to sing the right song. It goes like this. You got to do the thug shake. You got to do the thug shake. You got to do the thug shake, 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 like that. Okay, that's how you do the thug shake. People are always wanting me to teach them how to do the thug shake. I choose uh, having to watch a caber grow. What's a caber? I don't know. It's an interesting question. I've never had that one before. Oh God! Here we go again. Enough, please, Walmart Wi-Fi. Enough. Now you know. Now you know what the thug shake is. I mean... Uh, as the leader of the fun friends gang, obviously, I uh, know all the special urban dances, you know. I'm going to be, I'm going to have a beeline in to the most urban of dances. Right, hashtag fun friends gang. And the fun friends gang, it's like a gang, except instead of being violent, we're just fun friends. Instead of being mean or bossing people around, we just are nice to each other and have fun. No, hi, god damn it. What is with people being so dumb all the time? Just stop it. Gah. You make me say gah because I hate it so much. Thank you, Winston. I was having trouble find, grabbing him here on this thing. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Yeah. They seem to get it. Yeah. An anarchal sparkle. <laughs> right. Fun friend gang names. Just like, you know, maybe in a, in a barrio gang, they will uh, say, like, Lil Clowny or whatever, Lil Payaso. But um, in the Fun Friends gang, we just have fun names. I'm Sunny Funshine, Sean's anarchal sparkle. Rachel's Murphy Rainbows. Oh, Murphy Rainbows. <laughs> uh huh. Rachel's Murphy Rainbows. You know, these are our. Can you be arse butt funny pony? <laughs> sure. Arse butt funny pony. Funny pony. Funny Ar pony. Arse butt funny pony. <laughs> like yes, mythicalism. You can be arse butt funny pony if you want. What are the two options again? Uh, I mean, you have to have, you have to come up with your own fun friends gang name, you know? Uh, what two types? Oh, I don't know what you are. I don't know what I know. I've never typed you. Oh, like which two types I thought he was? There was ESFP or ENFJ. 
I think he's ESFP. I think he's ESFP too. I feel pretty confident about it at this point. I haven't thought about it some more. Me too. So, uh, ESFP, I don't want to get, explain all, all typology to you or whatever. It's too much, too much of a hassle. Maybe someone else will explain it. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> you're gonna pick your name next time you're on shrooms, okay? How's your night going so far? It says so are Dylan. My night's going fine. Oh, it's it's a uh, good pasta dinner. We had a nice pasta dinner, and now we're watching the Yukon Alabama basketball game. It looks like. We will see, of course, UConn probably win this. They're up by eight points with about six and a half minutes left. You're at Starbucks using your Wi-Fi? Well, good for you. You know what? Rachel and I may get a Starbucks coming into town. That'd be nice if they do. Oh, uh, thank you, Winston's mom. Did we hit 14, finally? Thanks, Winston's mom. Well... Uh, Bama needs to uh, put together some offense here. That three is way off. That UConn center is trouble on the boards, you know. Alabama's going to have to make some shots because they're not going to get a lot of second chance opportunities. Looks like it's UConn ball? No, wait. What did they call? Did they call a foul? Did they call out of bounds on Alabama? I don't know. They, yeah, they called a foul on UConn. That's correct call, actually. Tim Hortons is better. I have not... <clears throat> Uh, maybe I have been at Tim Hortons, but I don't really remember what it is exactly. The name sounds very familiar. Have you ever been to Tim Hortons? I haven't been to Tim Hortons, but I've had Tim Hortons coffee. Mm. But no, I've never been. Is it a restaurant or what? It's like a Dunkin' Donuts or a Starbucks, but it's Canadian. Oh. And they have, supposedly they're known for their coffee. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what's known for their coffee between me and Rachel is a little place called the Bootjack Market. Yeah, they have great coffee. They do have great coffee. Speaking of that, I'm glad you brought that up, Nathan Carl Almandara, because it is about time for me to replace this here Timex watch that I've had for years now wow. because it keeps going slow. Oh, it means it's time. Yeah, I'm going to have to get another one. Every few years, this one's lasted like five. You know, I think I had this, Rachel. I think I had this watch when you and I got together. Yeah. Rachel. So this is, I've had this maybe six years or something. This one's lasted a long time. But these Timex watches are, uh, are um, not, not that expensive. <coughs> they last a few years. I mean, you know, sometime back, this one, lost its end to glow technology which was this light that would turn on during the night if you push on it right it, it stopped working a long time ago a nice seiko i i don't want to spend a lot of money on a watch really it just needs to tell me what time it is and feel comfortable on my arm but uh You know, I suspect the prices on these have gone up since last I got one. I wouldn't be surprised if they're over 50 bucks now. They were like 35 when I got one last time, but everything's gone up in cost. And, you know, watches are kind of a hot thing these days for some reason. It might have even affected the price of the low-end watch market. Well, Alabama looks like they are going down in flames. They're down by 10 points to UConn right now with... Under five minutes left in the second half. Just missed a little jump hook shot from the lane. That doesn't bode well. 
All of us played a good game, but they, they've been, uh, well, Lynn's been on the basket for a while now for them. And then even when they do, here we go, they get finally get a rebound, drives all the way down the lane, gets fouled, probably on the floor. Yeah, it's not looking good for the Crimson Tide. Uh, everybody's pick, even before the tournament, in this tournament was UConn. Everybody said they're the best number one in the tournament. They're the most likely to win the national championship. And they're looking like they're four minutes away from the national championship game. Timex Group USA Inc. is an American global watch manufacturing company founded in 1854. Hmm. Well, you know, their watches last few years. So it's let's an say, investment piece then. Let's let's say I uh, let's say nowadays they cost it wouldn't surprise me if they cost fifty five, sixty five, seventy dollars even now. Yeah, I was thinking sixty, sixty five. Even though they just six years ago they cost like thirty five bucks. Wow, that's a big difference. But regardless, uh so let's say last three years. Well, that's twenty dollars a year for a watch. That's pretty affordable. Uh, if it lasts six years, like this one, well, then you're talking just ten dollars a year. Uh oh, they kidnapped the wrong kid. I kind of like this. Uh, I kind of want to see this movie. Abigail. I like that uh, tagline. They kidnapped the wrong kid. Why? Because it turns out she's a blood sucking vampire. And she kills all the kidnappers. It seems like a good premise to a movie. You're watching all the Elm Street movies? Hmm. Well, you know, one thing I think that works pretty well in horror movies is scary little girl, you know. There's a vampire lady who does lives. Time X starts at $53. See? They are more expensive than they used to be. Well, I'll have to look at which Timex watches I want to get. And I'll have to order one because obviously in the status quo this watch isn't going to last. Yeah, everything's more expensive than it used to be. Thanks, COVID. Wow. So big time out show media. Well, you know, people are welcome to try to troll me. I appreciate the engagement. It makes it interesting. After the game, we could vote for watches. Yeah, we could. Game's almost over. It's an eight-point game, so it's not over yet. Alabama oh, did no. score last time. However, Connecticut just had a big three-pointer. That should that should wrap it up. It's an eleven point game now. Alabama fumbles the ball away. Looks like it's tied up, held ball probably. Unless they call the foul. You got a time X with Snoopy riding a chopper on it. I just get something plain like this, you know. Isn't a good looking by Dixon Dallas? It's an amazing country song. I think you'll love it. Well, 
Maybe I will. Remind me next time. I'm not really in the mood to right now. I'm going to wrap up this train pretty soon. I'm feeling pretty tired. It is sleepy week. However, I do think that uh, an additional good night's sleep will, will put me in a pretty energetic mind frame tomorrow. Well, Alabama's not quite out of it yet, but they're going to need to score three big points right here. And they do. They do. 68-76. It's an eight-point game. It's not over yet. Uh, I am familiar with Lil Peep. I am too. Yeah, I think Bama's going to lose as well. But it's still not over. Eight-point game. If UConn fails to convert here, they call a timeout with 12 seconds left on the shot clock. If UConn fails to convert here, Alabama gets the rebound. Let's say they shoot another three-pointer. Uh, then UConn fails to convert again. Well, all of a sudden you're going to have a one-possession game, potentially. And is he the one who, who died? Who? Lil Peep, or is that? Yeah, I think Lil Peep died. Let me make sure, but I think he did. You look like old neighbor. What music do you make? What music do I make? Uh, I make Eric Rock, you might call it. I don't know. If you want to yeah, have a... You want to have a... Playlist, I can put one here for you. It's games. Oh, diddly burr. There's a playlist. It's not really in a very good order. In other words, it's not like my best songs are at the top of it. No, you're just gonna do it, but still, there's good ones. A lot of good stuff in there. I should probably reorder it again. Well, it's over. Less than two minutes left. UConn's got a 12-point lead. This game is over. Like, mia mia versus mia mia. That's how over it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to step outside. I'm going to have a final health tube of the live stream. I think we're going to come back in, wrap this stream up. I suppose after that, I may want to watch a little bit of the Giants game here with Rachel for a few minutes if she feels like watching it. Then I'll probably uh, go be ready to go to bread. But, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We got a half tube ahead of us right now. And uh, let's enjoy that health tube. Let's enjoy it. I might even, later this evening, I might take a shower. It's something that I'm considering. It's a possible thing I might do. I know, I know. It's pretty, like, impulsive, pretty risky, kind of just, hey, control yourself, wild man, thing to do. But sometimes... I could. It's true. Sounds like Rachel wants me to keep streaming. <sighs> well...
It's a Saturday night in Mariposa's town. Just a Saturday night when no one needs to frown. Cause everything's feeling fine and everything's feeling good. I don't know what I'm doing, but I should. I'm just a sitting here in my walkway in the snow. Wondering what I see and wondering if I know enough to make a choice, a choice with my life. I'm wondering what is good. Me and my wife are living out here in Mariposa County. We aren't in the town, but we are of a bounty. Oh, goodness, why would you look at us now? We're living here in Mariposa Town. That's a nice little song. For the moment of right now. It's a nice little song for the moment of right now. My butt's cold. I'm sitting on this metal chair. It's cold as ice. The kind of cold you only feel in the Arctic winters. Far to the north. Where the polar bears are constantly mauling you. My butt is so cold, it feels like it's being mauled by a polar bear. I'm going to have to stand up. The only way I'm going to be able to tolerate being out here. <clears throat> Otherwise, I might die of cold butt syndrome. Also known as butt hypothermia. Oh, well, now I've gotten my butt all cold, I feel cold. Well, Rachel, darling. Yes, Eric, darling. I'm inclined to. Uh, I'm inclined to uh, take half colony. Okay. I have hot dog water. Yes, I don't really worry about this so-called trolling group. You know, ultimately they're just engaging with me, whatever their intent is. They may sometimes elicit reactions, but, you know, fundamentally they'll just serve to sort of train me in the... I mean, it's like, you you really can't run afoul of, of, like, somebody like me if you try to do that. Because, like, let's say you're, you're JC and you were trolling. Well, today I just said, oh, well, then I won't. You just lost all your credibility and I won't trust you any further. You know? So. No, thank you. That's our water. So, you know, it's like, it's pretty hard to troll somebody who just deals with everything in a straightforward fashion, you know? like I'm not super reactive if your trolling is relatively sophisticated and you're trying to
you know, push certain buttons by being earnest or whatever. And then it comes out that you're, you're fucking around. Well, then you lose all your credibility. So I don't know what, what reaction hot dog water expects from me. All right, cool, Sean. Uh, I'm not sure we'll still be here, but we might be. Uh, so, UConn won. Alabama's knocked out of the tournament. And I don't think that's coming to a big shock to anybody, really. Yeah, put on the Giants game now. They're playing the Padres. San Diego's winning at the moment. But, oh, it's the ninth inning. The ninth inning already. What a quick game. It's currently under two hours. And, you know, one out already. So, this is, oh, this is at San Francisco. Okay. So, the bottom of the ninth is still coming up, but it's unlikely the Giants are going to put together four runs in the bottom of the ninth. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up now. Uh, it is sleepy week, so, um, you know, I've got a limited amount of energy for, for our live streaming. I do want to thank everybody who was here for being here. To wish you all a very pleasant good evening. And to hope good fortune follows you wherever you go. Bye for now. <laughs>